so to understand the euler's phi function for numbers which are composite numbers we have to know what is meant by a canonical factorization so if i take n to be any natural number then i will factorize this natural number in the in the following way the number n will be written in the form of p1 raised to r1 multiplied by p2 raised to r2 up to pk raised to rk where this p1 p2 up to pk are all prime numbers they should be prime numbers okay this is called as the canonical factorization of the given number let me take one simple example and tell you what is the canonical factorization so let me take the number 20 in uh, for example and i will write the canonical factorization of 20 okay so what is the canonical factorization of 20 now all of us know that 20 can be written in different different ways you can factorize 20 in many different ways right for example 20 can be written as 10 into 2 20 can be written as 5 into 4 also 20 can be written as what 20 can be written as 5 into 2 into 2 right which is nothing but 5 into 2 square because 2 i am having Two times, so five into two square. Okay, now these are the possible factorizations of twenty. I can even write twenty as twenty multiplied by one. Even this is one of the factorization of twenty. Now, out of these factorizations, which factorization is the canonical factorization? You have to look at the factors, right? Here, I know that two is a prime number, but ten is not a prime number because we in canonical factorization, the numbers that you are using must be only prime numbers. You cannot use numbers which are not prime composite numbers are not allowed in the second factorization 5 is a prime number but 4 is not a prime number because 4 can be factorized as 2 into 2 right similarly in the third case what is happening 5 is a prime number and 2 is also a prime number and there is a power right so this is 5 raised to something multiplied by 2 raised to 2 so this is p1 raised to r1 multiplied by p2 raised to r2 so p1 and p2 are prime numbers 5 is also prime number and 2 is also prime number right so this looks like the canonical factorization why is the last factorization not canonical factorization because one is also not prime number all of us know that one is not a prime number one is not a composite number also right one is neither prime nor composite and 20 is also not a prime number so this is not a canonical factorization so what is the canonical factorization of 20 the canonical factorization of 20 is equal to how much 5 raised to 1 multiplied by 2 raised to 2 means it is 5 into 2 square right for example if i take the number 100 what is the canonical factorization of 100 the can canonical factorization of 100 now okay 100 can be written as what whatever factorization we know we will write it down okay i will write it as 15 into 2 and i will further go on factorizing as per my depth uh, of the you know, the factors then 5 can be written 50 can be written as 5 into 10 this 10 can be written as again 5 into 2 into 2 and this is okay, this is finally comes out to be Phi square into two square, and therefore hundred can be written as what? Phi square into two square, which is of the fashion p one raised to r one multiplied by p two raised to r two, where p one and p two both are p one and p two both are what? Five and two both are prime numbers. Okay, so this is the canonical factorization of the given number. Okay, this canonical factorization of given number will now help us. to find the euler functions of given any composite number